MW3 Season 1 content is releasing early. We're going to go through what we're getting, some free rewards you could get right now, and some future updates we're getting very soon in today's video. But first up here, be sure to check out U4GM for help getting MW3 Mastery camos, rare unlock codes, and much more. They have safe and legit services to help you get the camos fast and easily, cheap cop points, rare unlock codes, and much more. Use code MATT for an extra 5% off checkout. Links are down below. And also, hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving if you celebrate. Can't wait for the holidays here. Definitely a pretty fun time overall. And in Call of Duty, we're getting a lot of stuff here. So first off right now, for the rest of the weekend until November 27th, we have triple double XP for player XP, weapon XP, and battle pass XP. So be sure to grind there. And next week, we have a new playlist update here, which confirms a pretty interesting part of season one releasing early. We have Rust Mint 24-7, which is, of course, Rust and Shit Mint and high rise 24 7 as well so pretty cool stuff there overall can't wait for that one rust 24 7 is a w mode what we have right now gun game is a ton of fun i was playing a bunch of it off stream and you know just recording some gameplay gun game on scrapyard especially really really fun to play so definitely a great mode there hopefully we get more party modes add to mw3 in the future because party modes on the og mw2 maps i feel like would be a vibe 10v10 is also good as well some of the 10v10 games i played weren't even that bad honestly the pacing was pretty good i wouldn't mind them going even further 12v12 16v16 we talked about that in a previous this video about combat pacing returning from vanguard and having super hectic modes on the 6v6 map hopefully they test that out in the game very soon but for shipment here we of course talked about this this is not surprising to see this a part of mw3 it was obvious this map was going to release we had some leaks about it and then we got confirmation a couple days ago that shipment will be in this game now what's interesting is that they didn't include it in the initial preview we got of this upcoming season we got a look at the new 6v6 maps some game modes we're getting of course urzikstan as well but shipment was nowhere to be found and now they're just releasing it next week out of nowhere kind of funny stuff here it seems like they're treating shipment as just a playlist update instead of an actual official drop which you know i can understand why they're doing that it's just going to be the mw2 shipment we got last year they're probably treating it as a carry forward map instead of a season one release because people might have been annoyed if for the season one marketing they said okay shipment is returning so a lot of people are excited for of course they want to have shipment for grinding their camos and weapons but it's the same exact shipment I guess if it was going to be a part of the season one marketing, they probably felt that it had to be a new version of the map to warrant it being a part of the update or at least the marketing. I can understand that, although if they included it a part of season one's roadmap, for example, I don't think people would be that mad as long as we got a couple uniquely made maps and then shipment returning as well. It, it wouldn't have been that bad, honestly. So let me know down below your opinions on that. Regardless, it is what it is. We're getting shipment early next week. Can't wait for that. Of course, they're releasing it right after triple double XP ends, but it is what it is. They're glad to see shipment in the game of course as i said in previous videos i would have loved to see other versions of shipment added i mean the mw2 version last year wasn't my favorite the mw19 version a lot better the cod world war 2 version even cooler maybe a completely new version as well would have been cool but again it is what it is now for some free content you could get right now there is a new amazon prime gaming bundle so if you guys have amazon prime be sure to click the link down below in the description connect your activision account to amazon prime and you'll be able to get this content in the game right now and what's interesting is that this is actually for mw2 weapons here so it's for the cast off 545 and the lockman sub pretty cool blueprints here i mean they actually look pretty fire and of course they're usable in mw3 because of the carry forward feature so i didn't even go back in mw2 i went straight into mw3 and got these weapons instantly so it still is cool to see you get some other cosmetics as well definitely be sure to pick this up why not it's free content it's available until the end of december and for some more rewards here these aren't free but this just popped up i haven't seen anyone really talk about this here apparently there's a website that sells a bunch of merch and they did a collaboration with call of duty with some actually pretty solid t-shirts here i'm not really the biggest fan of you know gaming merch overall but these are pretty clean and if you get certain merch items on this website which i'll link down below in the description you'll get some cosmetics here so you're gonna get a 141 club emblem a 141 calling card a bona fide weapon charm that seems to be it for now i don't know if you get one per merch order or if you get all these cosmetics if you just buy one item not so sure there but you know another way to get some extra cosmetics if you're gonna buy that stuff obviously is it worth buying the merch just for the cosmetics probably not unless you really want that one for one club emblem but it is available now so let me know down below if you're gonna be getting that but for some upcoming updates as well this just got leaked out which is super interesting an ether blade is coming to modern warfare 3 zombies now we don't know if this is a blueprint that will be available part of a store bundle or a reward you're gonna get for a new you know season one mission that we're gonna complete or is it from a easter egg that we're gonna complete very soon in a new update 
you know, we really don't know what this is all about here, but the Ether Blade is pretty sick overall. Let me know down below what do you want this to be, but overall, an Ether Blade could look pretty cool. To me, this sounds like some type of rare item you get in the game, but, you know, let me know down below your ideas on what that could be. And of course, as we talked about in previous videos, it seems like they have a lot of good plans from W3 Zombies to continue giving us new content, Easter eggs. Of course, we talked about round-based zombies potentially being added to mw3 a bunch of new stuff happening over the next couple updates here so overall zombies has been receiving some fairly positive reception over the past couple weeks and i guess they're gonna give it more and more updates maybe even more than they originally intended we'll see very soon another leak here this is super interesting apparently outside of the map of terminal in mw3's multiplayer you could see broadcast from verdansk which is kind of crazy because uh, again broadcast just to talk about this here from mw19's mp it was brought over from warzone as a mp map for infected for other modes as well a pretty solid map overall actually it was pretty cool i could definitely see broadcast fitting in mw3's multiplayer but of course we know that verdansk was pretty much fully remade for the campaign in this game and it's pretty likely that we're getting the entire map brought into warzone at some point next year maybe late next year who knows for sure but they're not going to remake the entirety of verdansk just for the campaign and not bring it back to warzone i mean it's pretty obvious we're going to get it in warzone very soon but seeing this here now outside of a terminal could mean that they already have it developed for MW3's multiplayer if they're just ready to release parts of Verdansk as MP maps later on, you know, maybe for Season 5 or Season 6 of MW3 MP. You know, we'll see what they end up doing. Overall, not that big of a deal in my opinion. I think that's really cool. I think Verdansk is going to fit pretty well in this game. Of course, in terms of MP maps, I do want uniquely made content, and they've said time and time again that most of the post-launch content for MP maps will be new uniquely made maps. I'm down with that, but if some of the remakes are parts of Verdansk brought as small MP maps, I'd be down with that as well, honestly, because again, Verdansk from the campaign at least looked really cool. The graphics of, you know, especially the stadium mission looked fire. So having that added as, you know, maybe a gunfight map like we had it in MW19, but in MW3, that'd be pretty sick as well. So let me know down below. What do you guys feel about Verdansk being added to MW3 MP in terms of a broadcast MP map? Maybe the stadium, maybe the dam as well. Would you guys want to see that in MP? Is that something of interest? Let me know down below. Now, of course, Rebirth Island was officially confirmed to be coming to Warzone at some point next year in 2024. And apparently when the map comes to MW3, it will feature some sort of Easter egg. So this isn't the craziest news ever because I would assume that when the new Warzone map comes out, especially Rebirth Island, we would have some Easter eggs on that map. They're going to have a big event. They're going to have challenges to complete. We're going to have different things to find, all that good stuff. Just depends on how in-depth they go. Is it a zombies-related Easter egg? Again, will Rebirth Island be brought into Warzone and zombies as well? Because if it's in zombies, then we'll have a bunch of Easter eggs to complete, of course. So it could be referring to that. You know, too early to tell, obviously. I'd expect Rebirth Island to be added to this game probably around season three next year around april may of 2024 that's my expectation but you know we'll see when that time comes overall can't wait for that and finally here just want to mention this new mw3 cdl skins that got leaked out these are just the same skins or very similar to what we saw last year with mw2 which are cool but you know i, I really want to see them switch these up here because the cdl skins are a vibe but having the same exact look every year is gonna get a little boring so i know mw3 is a pretty close sequel to mw2 there's a lot of carry forward stuff so you're gonna see a lot of similar stuff from mw2 in this game like i understand that but hopefully for the future especially for treyarch's cod when they bring back cdl skins hopefully they just have more of a unique look you know we'll see what we end up getting there but that's it here for this video be sure to subscribe for more cod update videos like this shout out to the youtube channel members as always and i'll see you guys in the next video or live stream peace out guys